Hey there everyone welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video we're gonna learn how to implement a recycler view inside a fragment using Java as the backend language right. So I've already made this tutorial but in that we have used Kotlin as the backend language. So some of you have requested to make this in Java as well. So I'm making this tutorial. So let me just demonstrate what we're gonna get by the end of this video. So you can see here on my emulator I have this recycler view right. But this recycler view is made inside a fragment not an activity so if you want to learn the same and implement this to your android application make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started so guys if you're new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so the very first thing is that in this tutorial i already have made this list item you can see and i have implemented some strings and some, some basic things are already done in this project so if you want to learn with with implementing the same project then you should go to this link my github repository right so i'll provide the link for this in the description below you can just clone this code and then start coding along with me but if you just want to see how it's done then you can continue like this only so i will just close this emulator so we'll just go to our main activity i'll delete this and what we need is we need a frame layout frame layout so i'll implement that we'll constrain it on all the post size to the parent right we'll give it a id of frame layout done now we need to add an fragment so i'll add a blank fragment i'll call this as home fragment finish so okay we have got this fragment inside this we have this text we will just delete this and we'll add a recycler view we'll give it id of recycler view only the list item that will show here is this one so this is how our recycler view will look like right so that is pretty much everything we need to do now let us just create an adapter for a recycler view so new java class i'll just call it as my adapter So we all know that what we do inside our adapter we create a view holder class so my view holder and it will extend recycle view dot view holder right and my adapter will also extend recycler view dot adapter my adapter dot my view holder now we are getting some error here create a constructor we have created that implement methods will implement all the members done so the very first thing we are going to do here is we are going to create a constructor for this class as well so generate constructor array list that will contain the items of this news so we'll just create this class as well so right click here new java class call it as News, right so inside the constructor we will get two arguments so here in the get item count we will return 
news array list dot size now here in the list item we have two things this picture and this heading right so we'll refer to these two things done now we'll just go to this on create view holder so view b is equal to layout inflator from context dot inflate r dot layout So we'll return this object of my view order class and the last thing we need to do is we'll create the object of this news so news array list dot get position and now let's just implement this as well so it will contain two things So I guess we are pretty much done with our adapter. Now we'll go to our fragment here, right? So we'll just override one method on view created, right? So here we'll implement our recycler view code. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to call a method called data initialize and we'll create this method so let me just quickly implement this method okay guys we have initialized the data we have done nothing we have just created the object of our news class and added a heading that is stored inside these strings right and we have added the resource id of these images that are there in the drawable folder and we have created the array list and we have added the objects of news class and those array list right so we have initialized the data so after that
so okay guys that is all we need to do inside our fragment so now we'll just go to our main activity and here we'll create a method called replace fragment we'll pass the object of our home fragment here and it will take the object of the fragment So okay guys we have done nothing here just replace this frame layout with our fragment right that will get here as an argument so that is pretty much everything we need to do to implement a recycler view inside a fragment now let us just install this application and check if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to our emulator and here we can see it is working perfectly fine so this is how you implement a cycler view inside a fragment. I hope that you guys have understood the code. But still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section. Or you can DM me on Instagram. The Instagram username will be there on the screen right now. If you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And in case you are to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button. And press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. See you in another video. Bye.